Hey, you're Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve Morris. This is a engine I did a long time ago, and we're he, my buddy's just getting it going now, and uh, Jared. And uh, he goes, hey, can you get this thing all sorted out on the dyno uh, without the turbo? It's just naturally aspirated. And then I'll put it in the truck because the, the, the system's all built in a truck and just not worth getting it out. We'll uh, uh, dyno it with the turbos in the truck. I said, no problem. And so he brings it over, and it has a Holly HP on it, and just a Dominator throttle body with a elbow right there. And I thought, hey, this would be a really interesting experiment, and I think you guys would enjoy this. I would enjoy it too. Of uh, we're gonna run it with a sniper. So I've already gone through and done a base tune on it. I've done all the full tuning, and I have I talk about that more on some of the other videos right in the sniper section of our website because. Unlike the handheld controller, I mean, we have all of these options. All of this stuff is all in the background of how we can fine tune and make it better than what the handheld controller is. If you just want something that sits there and continues to learn for the next 50 million years, more power to you. But the correct way of doing it is to go in and make the corrections all permanent, tune it, make it even better than what the handheld can do it. So I already have a video on that. But I thought what would be really interesting is we'll do the whole base tune on this sniper, then leave this throttle body on and just use it as a throttle body, disconnect all the fuel, disconnect all the electronics, and then run the multi-port injection. So there would be zero difference in there, same exact throttle body, this would only be fueling difference of how it's fueled. So I'll meet the same, uh, the same ignition timing, same uh, target AFR, and then see what is the difference in between multi-port and a throttle body style injection like the sniper, like sniper stuff. So anyways, uh, I already have this all running. I'll show you, we'll go do a, a base pull on the uh, sniper. I'll look at it real, we'll look at it real quickly. I'll show you the uh, some data log on it, and then we'll come in and uh, hook up all the the normal multi-port injection, disconnect the fuel from this, so all the fuel and everything's running through the HP and multi-port. And then we'll run that. So, I'll set the camera down out here, we'll run this thing. Now, well, keep in mind too, this is a turbo motor with a turbo camshaft, low compression, so it's only on pump gas right now because it's nine and a half to one, uh, 565. I mean, it's a nice piece, everything's good in this, and it's a good motor for Jared. Uh, but it is a turbo camshaft and these things tend to lay over because they don't have enough camshaft for an NA deal. So uh, disregard that and they'll make lots of good horsepower down in the, in the middle and the bottom. Uh, but then they lay over because it's a really small camshaft for NA. But a great camshaft for the twin 80s that's going on this. So anyways, I'll uh, put this uh, camera down on tripod. We'll make a pull on it and then I'll show you those numbers and then we'll do this conversion over to the full multi-port. All right, now you can see this is nice, easy tune. These things do make really good horsepower. I'm always amazed at how good the turbo cam stuff, the stuff does. But you can see it's it's actually overly good here, and then just lay it falls off a cliff. I mean, you know, and with the boost on it. You know, this thing will run up 7,500, 8,000 RPM, um, but be in a sweet spot in that 7,500 area. But without boost, that's why it is, it, it, it's a little skewed, so, uh, but it's typical small cam stuff in a big cubic inch motor. 
but you can see. Uh, anyways, it you know makes its peak horsepower at 6200, 733, and 723 torque at 4300. So pretty broad, flat, and then it just falls off the cliff because it doesn't have enough camshaft right there. So that's why that all uh, is like that. But so anyways, I'll get up here and I'll put that in our test notes. So that is our uh, base sniper SME tune. You can see it right up there. I just I just typed that in there. Sorry, but anyways, what I'll do now is I'm going to convert this over. We're going to take the um, take the all the fuel lines and electronics off and just use the sniper as the throttle body, and then hook up the complete uh, HP multi-port fuel injection system. So we'll do that, and we'll go in there and look at it. And I'll show you that, and we will. Uh, come back work on tune and I'll show you a difference in that but we'll maintain that same target area of uh, timing and same uh, uh, AFR and I'll show you that right here real quick sorry if you look at the uh, those numbers let me get this camera down a little lower so it's easier to see alright that shut off but you can see that our program is, uh, our target AFR is 13, 13 to 1. You know, there's no boost, so uh, 0 PSI is just wide open throttle or just slightly less than that. So all this area right here is wide open throttle AFR. That's what we just ran. And then our timing is just a simple 36 degrees. So that's all, everything that's here in the purple is 36 degrees. All right, so anyways, we're going to uh, convert this over. I'll put that same timing and same target AFR in the HP, and then we'll make a run on it.